cannot be serious! <laughs> All right, welcome to the Straight Red Card. Brett and I are back, as promised, uh, with an actual soccer show. And this is going to be um, us going through the 59,000-man roster that Greg has picked for um, the Gold Cup. Prelim, yeah. And I feel like it'd be easier to talk about just the players who didn't make the list. Yeah, it might. <laughs> it might, but unfortunately... We're going to have to go through this because some of these picks, I think Greg's got some explaining to do. That's what I'm saying. Um, some and for me personally, I broke down all the players um, in, on this 59,000 man list into four or five categories. My categories were, and you can have your own, Brett's going to have his own way of doing handling this. Is, agree and disagree, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> The category one of these players is get the f- out of here. All right. That's the first one. That's all right. Number two category is eh, meh. That's number two category. Three or third category was, yeah, sure. Okay. That's fine. I'm fine. And the fourth category is yes. Yes. The fifth category is that'd be nice, but. So those are my fat five categories, and I'll explain as we go along. But Brett, we got to hurry on this because there's fifty nine thousand players to review on this list. Well, reviews uh, a nice way of saying it. I think just going over really quickly. It's a yes. better description. We're we're you, we're trying to give you the American fan, soccer fan, a quick breakdown of this fifty nine trillion man list. So you know what to expect when it gets squashed down to 23. Or at least have some idea of what to expect when it gets axed, cut down to 23. All right, here we go. Brad Guzan. My thought was, eh, that was my thought for Brad. Meh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's basically the same thing I had. You know, no, no GTFO, but yeah. yes. I'm not going to talk tell a guy who's played as many caps for the United States men's national team as Brad Guzan and served mostly good for us. I'm not going to tell him to get them out of here. Yeah. So for me, it's just sort of meh. I don't know if he's he's not the future anymore. Nope. Uh, Bill Hamid, same thing. Meh. Why is he here? I don't know. Yeah, I feel the same way again. Uh, quite frankly. Yeah. Uh... And Berhalter is not a big fan of uh, Hamid for multiple reasons. Uh, yeah, so I just don't know why Bill Hamid is there. I, I just don't. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, and, and Berhalter seems to have some issue with him. Whether he said something initially, I don't know. They don't talk about the, the that type of stuff, but he's not been called in that often. So no. yeah, yeah. At this point, he'd be serviceable, but meh. I mean, he's, yeah, I mean, serviceable, serviceable, but this is the same guy who went to Denmark for a season and couldn't get a, like, he got like one game. Listen, <clears throat> he's, he's, he's a really decent keeper, but no, he shouldn't be on this list. Sean Johnson, not surprised. I'm okay with him. Okay, sure. <clears throat> um, <laughs> yeah. He's not the future either, but, you know, I mean, he's a good backup to, the next guy I'm going to mention, which is Matt Turner, which is yes, yes, he should Matt be there. Turner. Yeah, yeah. Sean Johnson's definitely a, a in this my my opinion, this roster and all the January camps a secondary option unless they call in somebody younger like an Ochoa or something like that. But yeah, Turner definitely number one here. Yeah, not really sure why Ochoa is not on this. Um, Called in Nations League and I don't know, letting Real Salt Lake have him, not taking them away for two months. I guess I don't know. I guess, but, you know, if he's on this roster and, you know, uh, Matt Turner goes down with an injury, uh, you've got another guy, you know, there that is gaining experience. But, okay, I don't understand that. There might be something I don't know. Maybe RSL's bitching and moaning because MLS is going to go on during the Gold Cup, and they're like, this is our first guy. So, no, you can't have him anymore. You already took him away. For Nations League, you already took them away, so no. 
you don't get him anymore. We already gave you him for the Olympics and Nations League. So no, you're done with Ochoa. I can oh, I can understand that. Um, Tim Melia, I mean, sure, okay, but why now? At this why point, now? given his age, it's, it's it might this he's serviceable, but this is kind of like throwing him a bone. It must be. This this must be one of those. Yeah. Hey Tim, sorry we left you off the roster so many times over the years. Here's but your here's your bone. You're there, but you're not there. Sorry. Yeah. We got you on the print on the paper. You know, when Derek printed out his list of this, your name was on it. And one American fan got to see it. And many others did too. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to defenders. Julian Araujo. Yeah, okay, yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, make sense. Can't see why he would not be included on this roster. Could be the starter right back, in my opinion. Um, George Bello. Yeah, okay. Yes. That's fine. I mean, yeah. I got nothing against that. Let's I bring mean, in some youth players here, absolutely. Very promising. Hasn't done much in MLS yet. So he's got that promising thing label all over his forehead. But he's got work to do to live up to some of the hype. Uh, Reggie Cannon. I would love it. It'd be nice, but I'm not sure he's coming. Yeah, I mean, it all depends on what's happening with his club status. Um, I mean, it looks, in my opinion, this is a, a Bovista's attempt to uh, market him. Could be, because they're, they're definitely selling him. Yeah. Um, they don't want him. He doesn't and want to be there. I think uh, mm-hmm. well, uh, Bretto said, uh, Max Bretto said, uh, it said something along the lines in his review of his 59 man roster, and that uh, uh, he, was Bo- uh, he was only supposed to be a Bo Vista for like one year, and then it was supposed to be off to uh, Lil, but I think Bum- it was Lil. Yep. Yep. But uh, Lil. that fell through. Yep. Now Bo Vista sort of stuck with him. And they don't want him. Yeah. Actually, from what yeah. I've read, they're like, eh, you're not in our future. Go bye bye. So, so that, maybe- I, think this, I think he's going to get, unless, unless he gets an offer by somebody else from his Nations League and, um, um, Costa Rica performance, he'll come. He'll come in uh, to this roster and he'll play, and he'll get sh- uh, shipped somewhere at some point. If he comes to the roster, he plays, no doubt. Absolutely, yeah, I agree. Cameron Carter Vickers, uh, not really a player you would think Greg would like, um, but he likes Zimmerman. So if you can do Zimmerman, you can do Cameron Carter Vickers. So yeah. if CCV. Finds a way to play. I'm okay with it. Well, this is an interesting thing, uh, looking at this roster as a whole, and you see the European players that are brought in. One has to imagine that uh, Berhalter is looking at these European players as very much potential 23 years. Because why else include them at all? I mean, um, why include why include uh, CCV if you have no intention of possibly calling them up and you're going to call up somebody from MLS instead? Well, all I got to say is CCV is going to have to go to Newcastle or wherever he ends up. And frankly, I'm not buying the Newcastle thing. Wherever he ends up, and he had a good championship season. I'm not saying he didn't play well, but he's a fairly limited player. He's, he's you know, he's big and strong. He can run. Not really good with his feet. And this team requires you to be good with your feet unless your name's Aaron Long. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know why you call him. Make him 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 in except for he is extra you know extra bodies for this gold cup and he's also in a predicament where he doesn't know where he's playing next season so um he might just say i nobody wants me right now i don't have a team i don't have anywhere to go for preseason so yeah i'll go play so we'll see if that happens i'm i got like a i'm a 50 50 on that one on whether or not he'll be he'll leave uh, Justin Che, bring that guy in. Yes. Bring him in. Yes. Absolutely. Let's bring him in. Yep. He's um, not going anywhere right now. So No, he's stuck in Dallas because Dallas said no to, to Byron. He, Byron he, made... he fits the Berhalter mold for a center back. He's comfortable with the ball at his feet, and he can play it out. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's bring him in. Also fits the mold for a right back, but we got a lot of those, so you're probably yeah. right. It will end up being sort of a center back thing. Um Kyle Duncan, eh, mm. whatever. Yeah. He's all right. I mean, I watch the Red sure. Bulls a lot. He's all right. Um, Chase Gasper, eh, mm. sure. same thing. <laughs> eh, he's all right. 
He's not going to make the cut, though. No. I'd be surprised if Kyle Duncan did, too. Jonathan Gomez. Oh, okay. Guy with the high potential, high ceiling, so they say. I've only watched him play yep. twice on <laughs> both of those were YouTube. So, and I know we've talked about him a, a once or twice. Uh, I know Filippo's on, high on him. Um, and I know he's also being scouted by the Mexican national team. So uh, mm-hmm. whether he gets called in to the uh, the 23, who knows? We'll see what Berhalter is thinking or what he decides to do. Jonathan's I mean, already been in Mexican camp once. He was in he was in the camp with the, the their Nations League team. Now he wasn't part of their right. I don't think their 23 team, but he was brought in with them. So similar so they to got how their eye uh, on DK did, you know? Yeah, they got their eye on them. They're not yeah. stupid. Yeah. Um, and this kid is highly touted. And they say he didn't want to sign for an MLS team because he didn't want to be stuck in MLS for three years or whatever. Sometimes. <laughs> so he's like, you know, I'm just gonna play in USL where I can leave the next season. Uh, um, Aaron Herrera, Real Salt Lake. We know what Aaron Herrera is. I'm, I'm fine with him being on this roster. Sure. I predicted he would be on this roster, so I'm fine with it. Well, um, I mean, we predicted him before we realized that somebody like Cannon was going to be included, but yes. Well, I did, as Greg. I yeah. predicted and told you that he would be on this roster, and here he is. So, And I agreed um, as not Greg, but that, again, that was before Cannon was included. Yes. <laughs> Henry Kessler. You know, Kessler's not really even starting all the games for New England this season. So I don't know why he's on this except for they rate him. Yeah. So for me, that's a. His Olympic performances weren't the greatest, but. Yeah. That's a real question mark for me. That's a real. "Mm, What? Hmm. It's not a get the fuck out of here, but it is a. Hmm. What? Uh, Shaq Moore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd like to see Shaq Moore again. He's been solid as hell for Tenerife. He plays every game. He starts almost every game for Tenerife in the this, second division. And this is why when you brought up Araujo and you said he might be starting, uh, and we talked about Cannon already, Moore would have been the other one I would have been like, why I was like, okay, sure for Araujo, but if both, if both uh, Cannon and Moore are available, then I don't know. I don't see it. Well, and the other thing about Moore is, like, a lot of times in his um, earlier seasons in Spain, he actually played left back, too. So, oh. another option, possibly. Yeah. He hasn't done it in a while, but still. It's always great to have versatility. Yeah. Um, Eric Palmer Brown, eh, I don't know. I mean, it's another, it's kind of like with the CCV thing. It's like, I'm fine with him being on the roster for he gets on. I'd like him to be there. But I'm kind of not sure he'll actually be there because he's looking for a new club. And I would, like to, I would like to say yes, just because I want to see him out there and get a mm-hmm. shot. Now, yeah. Put it put it to bed. Either either make your name for you yourself, or or go back to playing just club ball and getting called up for occasional friendlies in Europe. We, yeah. You know, this is this could be his opportunity, and I just want to see it occur. <laughs> right. You know? I know. Yeah. So, Kevin Paredes and Donovan Pines, both DC United. Both of my responses are, uh, meh, what? Okay, you know, that's fine, but they're just not going to make this roster. Neither of them nope. are going to. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, Miles Robinson is an obvious one. Yes, yes he's there. Yes, good. Absolutely, good. yes. Yeah. James Sands? Yes, yep. finally. Yes. Finally. <laughs> Um, I think the soccer OG had him starting. Uh, he's not starting. No, he had him starting. At, yeah, he had him starting at the six. Yeah, that was his wish list. James Sanson ain't starting. Sorry, no, not in Gold Cup. He's never. He might come in at ha- like with twenty minutes left in the first game if he plays really well. He might start, but not the first game. No. Does he he's play never, as a six for uh, New York? He plays as a center back usually. So why you put? I'm curious why the OG put him as uh, number six then. Well, he's played there too. Okay. So I guess he's, you know, he just really do doesn't want Acosta or Yule. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> In he's fairness, a, I can understand. Yeah. <laughs> he's a destroyer. So, yeah. and, you know, Burhalter likes to have a destroyer sure. on one of the three backs. So maybe, but it ain't going to be the first game, folks, unless ah. the first game's Mar- Martinique or something like that. Um, Austin Trusty barely plays much for Colorado. I don't know why he's on this list. So now. 
no. It's because Burholder wanted to get up to 60, but he failed. I know. Because <laughs> he couldn't even, but he still squeezed Austin Trusty on this list. Hey, call me when Austin Trusty is like the center back for the Colorado Rapids and is killing it. Call me in a, and then I'll be like, okay. Otherwise, get the f- out of here with that. That's a that's just a filler pick. Um, Sam Vines, yeah, but he'll probably start left oh. back. Honestly, people are saying, but I think OG had uh, Bello. No, Bello ain't starting. Not the first game. No, I think there's there's too much experience in history with Vines at this point that uh, he's not going. I mean, there's no reason he's not going to start at left back. Um, I guess it all depends on who we're playing against. But even then, Berhalter is probably going to want to get off on a, the right foot on that uh, first match. Yeah. And you don't want to go with somebody who's untested for the most part at and the international frank- level. And frankly, Bo has not really astounded so far. So I got, think you go with the guy different, you trust. A different style left back. But uh, yeah, I think Vines is, again, serviceable. He's going to make those runs up. He's a workhorse. Mm-hmm. And he... And he can lay across him with his left foot, something that most left, left backs for the United States seem to fail to do, you know? I think you bring in Bello when you're down one nothing late in the tournament. Sure. And you need a goal in the last 20 minutes. You need some energy and some creativity from that left back spot, sure. Right. Otherwise, I'm sure Greg is sticking with Sam. Sure. All right. Walker Zimmerman's the last defender on this list. And it's not a shock. And yes. he's starting. <laughs> yes. Right. I mean, so, yes, in the sense that I'm not surprised, and yes, he'll probably start. Yeah. You're just serious, man. You're